Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching me. Okay, who is relating to words like dazed, confused, don't know what my path is, I've got no direction, where am I going, how am I going to get there? Does this sound like you? Because what if I told you this was the new normal? So today I want to talk about what is this confusion that's virtually taken over the whole planet. Have you noticed it? Everybody, I reckon in the last week, I've probably had 600 emails from people all saying, Linda, I need direction. I've, I've, I'm off my path. What's my path? Can you tell me what my path is? And I'm going to be honest. I will never tell anyone what their path is unless they want me to. And it is extremely rare when they tell me what someone's path is. Our life paths are things that we will never know what they are because if we knew where we were heading, we wouldn't enjoy the journey to get there. And if we had a lesson to learn and we knew what that lesson was, we wouldn't go through those trials and tribulations to finally understand and comprehend what that lesson is about. It's like saying, I want to be a car mechanic, but you don't want to learn how to tinker on engines to learn how to, do, um, to work on a car. So that's what I'm talking about. So why right now in the year 2023, are so many people confused. We're talking about people who have always known where they're going. They've always known something in them says, you're going to be working here, you're going to do that for 10 years, and you're going to get married at some point, you're going to have kids. And now it's just like blown out of the water. And you think, where am I going now? I'll tell you my theory, which is just a speculation, or... Should I say, it's just uh, an assumption. I reckon it's being done deliberately. Don't know. But I think, from how many people have contacted me this week, I think this is deliberate. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know where they're doing it. Could be a few places. And I don't know who's involved, but ultimately, I think this is deliberate. There, you know, there's an old line that says, oh, we can't do that way again because then they'll know it was us. So they can't do the same things because then that will wake up and know. So they can't do the same things twice. So they've done something two years ago, and then they did something 18 months ago, which was different, if you know what I'm talking about. And now they've got to do something different again, just to keep us in that fear. Who are they? I don't know. Where are they? I don't know. Why? I don't, I, I, I think I know. But ultimately, we're all feeling it. So how do we change what's going on and start to get back to who we were? First of all, is we must identify what is truly our emotional state. This confusion, not knowing where I'm going, this dizziness, it's sort of like Alzheimer's, I think or memory loss, or whatever you're feeling, we've got to remember, is this something normal to us? And if you want to say no to that, because I always say go and get medically checked, right? Because <laughs> I'm not a medical doctor. But at the end of the day, if we can say this is not normal to me, guess what? we can change what's going on. So let's go through a couple of techniques of how 
not to let this energy attach to us again. I've already got a video out there that says, I think it's called How Not to Let Energy Attach to Us or something. I don't know. Look at me. I'll look at my professional development queue of emails and you'll see one in, um, not emails, um, queue of videos and you'll see it in there. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm going through like two to 500 emails a day at this point. So of course I've got emails on my brain. But if you go through my playlist of videos, I've got some in there that can help us stop getting attached to energies, okay? Energy vampires and all that sort of stuff's in there. But today it's different. It's really different. And I want to talk about this because the first thing we've got to identify is, is it our energy? And if you can say no, and you trust that no, so you know it, oh, that's not me. I don't usually act like that. This is so not me. I don't usually have these symptoms. I don't usually have this dizziness. I don't usually have these heart palpitations when I feel like I'm having a heart attack because that could be just mirroring how many people now are having heart attacks, right? We hear it in the news so much that we create it in ourselves. So we've got to stop this. So how do we do it? And the first thing is we say to ourselves very clearly, what is going on is not caused by me. I am not the one doing this. I do not give myself permission or consent to be picking up on this energy. And if you like Dracula, <laughs> send it back out to where it's from, okay? Send that back out where it's from, okay? I can't stress that enough. This energy on me today, I give you no right, no consent to stay on me. I cast you back to where you're from. I don't want it. Thank you very much. Or, in a very polite way, you send it out to the universal energies of the universe. I send this out into the ether because now it can just get renewed into good, sustainable, loving, kind, white energy that I do appreciate and I do want that in my life. Okay? So the first thing is we've got to identify it. Secondly, we've got to cast that stuff out. I don't want it on me. Girl vampire movies, right? Get out your steak. <laughs> I laugh at everything. So that's number three on the list. You've got to start creating energy that replenishes the energy we're getting off us. So if we're casting all this negative stuff off us, we have to fill ourselves with good, loving energy. And that's where you think of your favourite song. do 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 Led Zeppelin Cashmere for me today. Okay? Think about your favourite song. Think about your favourite animal. <gasps> Little yellow fluffy ducks. Oh, look how happy I'm feeling already. Oh my God, I'm going rock climbing this weekend. I'm going out I'm going out on a boat this weekend. I've got the chance to go and see this person who I haven't seen in 10 years and I love them. So we start thinking about what we love. Think about Peter Pan. You know how he could fly when he thought about his happy thoughts? So what are happy thoughts? Happy thoughts are when we think about something a memory, a person, something we did, something we like. For me, that's chocolate cake. So you think about what you love. I'm honest, aren't I? And then you visualise it in your head. And then you visualise that you, you've got it. Like chocolate cake, I'm eating it. I can smell that rich chocolate. Oh, yum. So now I'm building this emotional attachment to what I love. If I love a person, then you imagine their smell. I love the smell of sweat first thing in the morning. And you think about them and you think about like that fluffy duck. The little quack that it makes so you can now hear what they're like. And you create it and then you feel that emotion and when you feel that emotion that's when you again reiterate all the negativity of me you have no right or permission to attach to my mind body soul spirit or energy field 
I do not give you consent or permission to stay on me. I am filling myself today with the taste of my chocolate cake and the smell of that person that I love and the hearing of the little chucky ducky 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 and no energy at all can come into what I've just created. How easy was that? Now, isn't it funny I just said chocolate cake because I can taste it. A little fluffy duck that I could hear and the smell of another person. So it's when we use our senses is when we create emotion. How many times do you say, I feel sad today? Feel, touch. See where I'm going here? It's deep, right? <clears throat> so how do we get rid of all this confusion? Feeling like we're going nutter insane? Start selling it to Nick off. You have no right, no permission to be on me. Go back out into the ether from where you're from. I do not give you consent. And I mean it. Don't you come back. I say it like this. Imagine five guys turn up at your door with, they've got their balaclavas on and they're holding some certain weaponry. Would you be nice to them and say, oh, hi, can you just go away now? I don't want you in my house. Or would you stand up to them and say, Nick off, get out of here. With a couple of swear words attached. Because that's where I'd be. I'd have about six neighbours coming over. Linda, I can hear you swearing again. It's all right. Just me getting rid of bad energy. It's all right. Go live your life. Thank you for concerning yourself with my issues. When I tell bad energies to get off me, I get very vocal because it's that compassion. Oh, sorry. Take that out. It's not compassion. It's that conviction. It's the conviction because when we get that emphasis building within us and we say get out of here whatever's coming around it goes oops i'm gone i'm gone i'm not gonna mess with that one okay so we have to get that conviction in our voice so then we say go away never come back and if it does stay on us there's no problem at all asking our spirit guides, guardian angels, protectors, and most of all the archangels to come down and help us get rid of it. Okay? We are never alone. And isn't that a great thing? We don't see these heavenly beings around us, but they're always here. Okay? Pardon me. One of the things I've been doing this week is in all my emails, most people are saying, can I please see who my spirit guide is? And they reply to me. I'm getting all these emails back <laughs> in amongst all the thousands I'm getting, but I don't care. And they say, oh, my God, now I know why I like that animal. Or, oh, my God, now I know why I've always liked that place where that guy's from. I've been drawn to it like a magnet. It pulls. So I'm getting all these confirmations and I don't need to give out testimonials because I've got too many. But when we start to trust our angels and our spirit guides, our guardian angels and the archangels, whoever you want to call them, God, Buddha, Muhammad, whatever, whoever they are. But as soon as we trust that they're there, they're going to come down and help us. Yeah, they make us do their work. So how do we get rid of all this ickiness, this confusion, this dazed, fatigue, tiredness? Just remember it's not you. It is an external attempt. Um, I've got to be careful to say how I say it. But I actually do believe it is deliberate what they're doing. 
because they want us to get to get lowered vibration isn't it funny that the last time they tried this with isolation 1.5 meters and isn't it funny it's 1.5 meters and that's how far our energy goes in our aura so they didn't want us doing that connection with other people they can't do the same thing again because now everyone's waking up so they can't do the same thing again so now they've got to do something different and if we see through it they're not going to win the war how cool is that so keep your vibration high think about the things that you love those happy places those happy things those happy things that you love chocolate cake i am such a sucker for chocolate i really am i've got to stop 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 eating it but it's just too addictive especially now that i don't eat drink much chocolate um chocolate got chocolate on the brain but now that i've stopped coffee in the morning and I like having a little bit of chocolate because it gives me that sugar rush so I wake up and I get that buzz of, okay, now I'm on. <laughs> um, now I, um, I'm getting more focused because I'm not having that caffeine hit anymore. You know, I, I'm down to about a quarter of a cup of coffee and I used to have like six a day. So I'm getting off my sugar hits um, and my caffeine addiction as well now. So when we look at ourselves and we say, who am I? And we look inside ourselves and you say to yourself, is this feeling from me or some sort of external thing going on? And by the amount of emails I'm getting this week, guys, um, let me just date stamp this. It's the 30th of January, 2023. I really do think this is deliberate because there's so many people all over the world feeling it. So how do we else... How, what else can we do? You think about other people around the planet and you start just thinking, okay, some random person living in China. A random person. And you think, right, I'm going to send some loving healing over there. Loving healing going to China. Okay, now let's go to Brazil. I'm going to go over to a tree in Brazil. I'm going to send you some loving energy. And all we've got to do is think about Brazil and a tree in a random forest and just think of love and I'll send it over to you. Then I'm going to go, I don't know, let's go to Scotland. I'm going to go up to the Highlands in Scotland and I'm going to say, okay, I'm on the moors. What do they call them? The Highlands or whatever they're called. I'm going to stand there. I'm going to find a little, a little shrub and there might be like a little rodent living in this shrub and I'm going to start sending him out some love. Because that's how we're going to win this war, by sending love around the planet, one person at a time. And we don't have to judge or accuse others. We just love. Send out love. Don't send hate to anybody. Don't judge why they do what they do, because they've got their own issues. And ultimately, they're the only ones that can sort themselves out. So if we look after ourselves... And we say to ourselves, I owe this energy that's not mine and neck off. I only want to be surrounded with the white loving energies of the universe. Fill me up with the white loving energy into my mind, body, soul, spirit and energy field. I just got clearer. I just got a little bit more focused. I can add up some numbers now because I swear this morning I lost my capacity to think. <laughs> I can actually do some maths. Oh my God. So there you go. That's how we win this war with what's going on. I think it's global. I think it's deliberate. I don't know what they're doing. Who's doing it? Don't know where they are. I don't need to care because they're the ones with the issue. And as long as I look after me and you look after you, we're going to get through this okay, aren't we? Talk to you all soon, and I hope that was helpful. Thanks, guys. Bye.